Editor config is the best first step towards a consistent code base in your project. And in the latest material that you can find on my channel, I will try to justify this thesis and show you that you can maintain consistent coding styles for multiple developers working on the same project and across various editors and environments just with this simple tool. You can achieve great results even without more advanced linters, so check it out! Welcome back, I'm Przemek and this is the next part of the series related to linting and formatting tools in the web development. If you didn't have a chance to check out the first, the intro to this series, check it out here because it also provides some general knowledge and the ideas that I will show in this materials. Editor config is my default choice for all the projects that I create. This tool ensures the code follows a specific style guide no matter what editor you use. VS Code, WebStorm, Sharper, IntelliJ, it is not a problem for them. It allows defining basic formatting rules used while writing a code, for instance, to spaces indentation for CSS files, for, for PHP files, max line length and a few more. You can check all the possibilities in the official docs. There are a lot of them but it is powerful enough. We can keep it simple as f or even build more custom and more demanding configs for formats defined for example with wildcards. How to configure it? Its biggest advantage is minimal setup and flexibility. I don't need to install a lot of additional packages, perform complicated configurations and use millions rules to follow. It allows configuring a few of the most important formatting rules easily and it just works. That's why I love to work with it. So, to use this tool, we simply need to create .editor config file in the root of the plugin, configure the basic rules for all files or for specific extensions, and that's almost all. By default, all the files in my plugin's codebase should use two spaces indentation, UTF-8 uh, char set, don't have white space at the end of the lines and always have one empty line at the end of the file. For the PHP file I want to use four space indentation so I can define it too. How to use editor config? Depending on the editor, you might need to install a plugin that reads the configuration file that we created earlier and formats the code. Some editors handle this by default, for example Visual Studio Code, IntelliJ, but some don't. If you use VS Code for or PHP Storm, you need to install a plugin to make it work. Then, once installed, the coding rules are automatically detected based on the configuration file and applied while writing or saving the file. You might be surprised, but that's all. It's so simple yet powerful. You might be wondering now how it differs from other popular formatters. Let's say that you use Prettier for handling CSS or JavaScript code. So, you work, 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 and hit the save button once finished. Prettier will take the content of this file and format it based on the defined rules. This process will happen after you finish the writing, so for example after saving a file or after running the format command. On the other hand, we have the editor config that tries to adjust formatting the code as you type on the fly, immediately applying formatting rules. So, for example, if you hit the tab button while writing a code, editor config immediately formats the indentation according to your settings defined in the .editor config file. So, if you open the PHP file, for example, you will see that four space indentation is used, and for others formats the two spaces indentation. You will see that after hitting the tab button, the four spaces will be put into the code instead of, let's say, two spaces, which might be defined as a default ones in your editor. So is it worth to try? Totally. Its biggest advantage is simplicity, and not all the projects use advanced linting configuration, and sometimes it is not even worth investing time to fight with them. If we have simple project that needs a simple formatting rules just to have a basic code style without a lot of manual work, that's the best tool to use. And what's great, if you will define the basic code style with this tool and decide to use Prettier in the future, your original config will be handled too, because Prettier supports this. How to not use this tool if it provides such possibilities? I can't answer this question. And that's all! 
Editor config is a pretty simple tool that doesn't require a lot of explanation, so the best you can do now is just to install the plugin, create a config and check how it changes the way you work with your code. And of course, let me know in the comments how it changes your workflow. Is it something that you consider as really useful and you will be using it or it is just a nice tool that <laughs> is not really needed? Just let me know, I will be really grateful for all your thoughts. And remember that all the changes that we make in uh, this series, in the, all the videos that I make on the channel, will be available in the GitHub repository. So I will post a link to the um, pull request with all the changes that we made uh, in the video description. So you will be able to check out my own editor config and maybe you will take it and use across your code base. That would be great. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe me already, please do this now, because I will be posting more videos about other formatters in the next week's days. I will try to do this as fast as possible, but I just need to find the time for this. So thank you for your time today and see you next time. Bye bye.